Then let's continue just a little bit into the concept of electrical double layer. As we illustrate here, we have solid surface. And for whatever reason, the surface is covered by a densely packed layer of what? Yeah, positive charge in this case. And whatever its formation, its origin could be, okay, as we mentioned, isomorphic uh, uh, substitution, preferred uh, dissolution. It's having this dense layer of positive charge. And then because of this dense layer of positive charge, it would have a tendency to attract what I? Negative charge I, makes sense? Because of this highly dense packed uh, positive charge there, it has a first tendency to attract negatively charged I. But because it's in solution, it's quite often something look like this. The negative charged ion is not exactly a one by one correspondence. It's kind of more or less random. Closer to the surface, I would have more what? Negative charged ion and further away, I have less and less. That's actually you would imagine in solution, not just layer by layer, okay? And for this, people call this structure, this positive charged ion on surface and negative charged ion, or the other way, people call it a double layer. Electrical double layer. In solution, if particles has fixed surface charge, I'm talking about it here in this case, this positive charged ion, to maintain the overall charge neutrality. To maintain the overall charge neutrality, opposite charged species, in this case, this red negative ion, preferentially surround the charged particles. Often, read to yourself. In a diffused way, this red particle is not exactly packed very dense on the surface. Often in a diffused way. That's what you are going to imagine in a real actual su suspension, right? Or my, my PhD, oh, sorry, my master advisor said, okay, the combination of two separated but associated, pay attention to these two words, two separated but associated charge region is called EDL, electrical double layer. One region would be what? Here, right? This positively highly packed dense layer. The other one is this diffuse layer. Two separated, geometrically separated, but also <clears throat> associated because they cannot, one cannot exist without the other, make sense? So that's kind of like the electrode double layer, it's called EDL. And magnetic repulsion, when different charged particles come together, actually the first thing they see each other is not the packed layer, it's the diffused layer. Because they're sticking out into the solution, they have much larger radius compared with the particle itself. Make sense? The diffused layer start to overlap. And the interaction between this diffused layer or EDL gives the so-called repulsive force. Make sense? The diffused layer stretch out into the solution for nanometers or even microns. And this interaction start to in repel each other. Okay? If the repulsive force is greater than what? Wonderful force. We are less concerned with gravity. For most cases, you can do a comparison. You can calculate the gravitational force. Potential energy is actually very small. Force is very small. But the electrical double layer repulsive force can be larger than the Wonderful force. And that would, when that occurs, the suspension would be stable. Okay. So. Uh, to understand this, let's think of the physical model a little bit. The first, the simplest model is so-called Helmholtz model, which is linear potential distribution, which is what? The surface, a dense layer of so-called absorbed positive charge, and then to compensate, the counter ions are also pretty densely packed near the surface. This clearly is a over simplification, right? Right. Fixed charge on the surface countered by densely packed counter opposite charge. 
This is a model, okay? Helmholtz model. And if I'm gonna plot iron concentration versus location, I'm plotting iron concentration versus location. I wanna plot it something like this. Near the surface goes to very high, and then beyond goes to what? Zero, right? It's kind of step function. And then this is this orange for kind of orange brown for positive ion. And then for my negative ion, it's like this. Make sense? A kind of a zero be below it, suddenly step up, and then zero again. Make sense? Kind of like a, a step function. This is a highly idealized situation. And if we define so-called electrical potential at the surface, phi zero at the surface, then if I'm gonna plot electrical potential versus distance, it will be a linear distribution from one side to the other side. Linear distribution, potential distribution, okay? And outside the double layer, it has zero potential because everything is compensated in this layer. Outside is zero. Whatever positive electrical field, negative electrical field, outside I have zero electrical field. Make sense? In between, I have a constant electrical field, which is the slope for this potential uh, curve. And the thickness T, well, it's kind of hard to define in reality. How, what's the size of this one? Right. How charge, how, how big, how small. And the, the most important the issue with this model, it's a model, easy to understand, but it is what? Clearly oversimplification of an actual condition happening in the solution, right? You are assuming the counter ion would be packed very densely in close distance, which is, this is not, remember, this is not a crystal, right? This is a suspension with liquid randomly moving apart. Everything is mobile. So it also does not contain, consider any thermal distribution effect. So uh, because of this, people developed another model by Goy Chapman model, which is more realistic, exponential di uh, potential distribution. So in this case, the absorbed species, absorbed ion, we can still more or less imagine them to be packed pretty densely on the surface. Make sense? The absorbed ions. On the other hand, the counter ion would be more like this. The counter ion. Closer to the surface, I have more. Further away, I have less okay fix the charge on the surface balanced by diffuse but what opposite charge makes sense positive charge so near the net charge should be more negative but the closer i have more the further i have less okay so in terms of the what ion concentration versus distance the positive charge i have step function and then going very far away it actually increases to a average value make sense so very close just very close here i would have while i'm pointing i should have very few positive charge why because this positive charge would like to repel it away right on the other hand, when it's getting further and further away, I can have some positive charge. And then the, neg the negative charge is green. When I'm very close to the surface, I should reach a highest value. And then when I'm reaching positive, I should drop to zero. And then diffuse away, I should also drop. But if I'm like one to one, sodium chloride, something like this, very far away into the solution, I should have what? Positive concentration should balance negative concentration when I'm very far away. Make sense? So overall, I'm charge balanced. So this is kind of a model that you can mm, think of it. Makes sense. Absorbed species, charged, dense pack. The counter ion has distribution near the surface, denser, further away, lower. 
and the similar positive charge near the surface, I should have very low, right? Very low. And then gradually I would increase, eventually in the deep into the solution, I should have positive negative balance. They should be the same concentration. So for these, the charged potential distribution would follow something like this. Phi potential would be phi zero surface and a exponential decay function. A exponential decay function. Okay, phi zero is a potential at the surface. If I'm going to plot uh, potential, electrical potential versus distance, it will start from a value and have this exponential decay. And of course, when I'm very far away, it should go towards zero. Okay. And then within here, we will people would call this one over kappa as the so called the balance. And so called the balance, which essentially is the distance at one over kappa, the potential drops to one over e, one over e of kappa. Okay, that's kind of a characteristic distance that describe. Okay, as you get further away from the surface, your potential drops, drops, drops. Okay, when x equals one over kappa, one over kappa times kappa is minus one exponential minus one that's one over e okay this is one over kappa uh, roughly here I, I roughly draw it here and uh, it's a faster decay of potential as distance away from the surface exponential decay okay and here we would call positive negative double layer Electrical double layer. And next, we are going to talk about that in detail later. Okay, let's stop here.